Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video, I am going to answer one of your most asked questions for CSI NET examination. This is how to prepare CSI NET examination in less time. If you are a CSI NET aspirant and if you want to qualify CSI NET examination in less time, then this video is just for you. Because in this video, I am going to share three such tips which will help you to boost your CSI NET preparation in very confined time frame. So if you genuinely require less time to qualify the CSI NET exam, due to some other reasons then obviously stick to this video and utilize uh, all the techniques that i'm going to discuss in this particular video now the very first thing that you ask yourself is really why do you need uh, to cut short the time for the preparation of csi net examination because naturally the csi net syllabus if you consider csi net life science syllabus because we prepare students for csi net life science that is 13 unit and 13 unit Preparation in six month time frame is very difficult. That is 15 days per unit. And if you consider individual units, they are huge in number of content, amount of content that they have. So scientifically, it's not possible to read A to Z of that topic for 15 days in a time span. So obviously, there should be some other way around. So the very first thing that you should do, the three tip process that I'm sharing to complete and quali to complete the CSI preparation in, in very fast time frame and very less time, the very first uh, technique that you should use is, the, uh, first of all, you need to select selective, selective preparation. And in selective preparation, you need to select uh, the topics, uh, the unit that you'll be preparing. You may not be able to prepare all the 13 units and you should not because scientifically it's not possible for you to even remember what you read from all the 13 units. So you need to have a selective approach. Among these 13 units, you need to choose 8 uh, or 10 units, 8 to 10 units depending upon your capacity of study that you would prepare. For example, in CSI and Life Science, I would provide you the units like unit 1, uh, then 3, then 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 13. So total eight here, total eight units are listed in here, right? So similarly, depending upon your preparation skill, depending upon your uh, background of study, whether you are from botany background, zoology background, physiology background, depending upon that, you select your important units. But these are very, very important units. The number of questions in part C and part B are almost equal and very much amount uh, pressed in the past few years question paper if you check for all these eight units that's why i always tell my students to prepare these eight units but apart from these eight units uh, you can prepare like eight to ten units is a good uh, number of unit which will help you to get enough number of question in your plate uh, to attend and qualify the second thing that you need to devote you see you are you're devoting less time you're devoting less time frame for example you're targeting the exam for six months so be rational about uh, the time frame while you're preparing like uh, if I check the Google search, you'll find YouTube search, you'll find that how to crack CSI and examination in one month, how to crack CSI and examination in uh, uh, sometimes, you know, maybe in future times you'll see in one week, which is not at all logical. So be rational, at least give yourself six month time frame. When I say less time, that is six months. When I say less time, that is three to four months, not lesser than that. Okay. So in that case, if you are cutting the time, then you need to invest more time per day so more more time per day this is something really important that if you are cutting down the overall time frame of your preparation then you need to invest more time every single day so you need to attend here eight hours a day right you cannot do both that you cut three to uh, the preparation time frame to three to four months and every single day one hour that will give to very less number of hours which will not be enough for you to dig into the deeper knowledge of all the units okay even though you select eight seven eight units but still you will not be able to cover them so give yourself six to eight hours a study for the six month time frame target and the last thing that you need is a proper study plan and in this case a suggestive study suggestive study because think about it if you are preparing all the eight or ten units in six months so in every single month you need to prepare two units and then you need to practice the existing old units and also practice question papers so for all these things to be done in the in, in cases you need to have a suggestive preparation strategy so obviously that should be questions or mcq driven the mcq are nothing but previous year questions of CSI net examination. So that is known as a previous year question driven or PYK driven approach where you 
check previous year's question paper of csi net examination based on your subject your syllabus find out the questions find out the topics which are heavyweight topics the number of question more asked from the topics and then select those topics prepare those repeatedly and snub the other topics which are not touched more in the csi net examination in every single subjects of csi net examination including csi net life science there are topics which are more important where more questions are asked and there are topics less questions are asked so depending upon that find out the more important topics and start preparing those topics from the peer reviewed books from video lectures you have plenty of video lectures there in my channel in fact there is hardly any topic which is absent in my channel regarding any life science topic so you can search it in and make my channel your companion during the preparation it will immensely benefit you so with all this three set of tips you can now prepare it in a less time so if you want to prepare it in less time the strategy the planning and execution is very important and students lack the self focus and driving force so if you have your self focus if you have your driving force self motivation then you can always do that in less time but if you don't have that if you lack there then you need to join uh, someone who will help you to do that will guide you to do that that's how shomus valji csr net coaching is all about we help students to drive them in a proper path so that they get to reach their destination fast and in correct time okay so that's all about the way that you can qualify csr net examination in less time if you like this video please hit the like button share this video to friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and in the next video we'll be discussing about the best books for csr net life science so stay tuned